Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Coaster. My name is Steven Marcateros and today we are going to be opening up this beautiful roller coaster that we constructed last episode amidst many financial difficulties that we are still having. I, I don't want to say that we're um, immune to this because uh, take a look, we're only at like 700 bucks and our finances are not looking very fantastic. Our cash flow is in the negative numbers. Uh, so we need to get this roller coaster open as fast as we possibly can. Uh, right now, uh, we have about 837 ride prestige, 82% rating there. Uh, however, I do believe that the actual uh, results of this is that the track scenery is still at low, which we'll have to come back and, uh, and repair that in a little bit. I think it looks fantastic. It thinks it's low. Whatever this game is. <laughs> You too high of standards for me. I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to appeal to that. But uh, hopefully, these are are pretty exciting uh, things for us. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's put her open. American Arrow One. Uh, one thing to start off with uh, in the comment section, if you could name this roller coaster for me, that'd be fantastic. I'll make sure to put that in. I think two episodes from now, uh, mainly because that these things are recorded in sessions of two. So just so you know that uh, that that does exist. All right, but hopefully this should uh, should pull a lot of people into the park. And it should uh, make a lot of people want to ride this ride. Uh, so let's hope. Tickets are on sale at, uh, ooh, let's see. Uh, finance is 10 bucks. So uh, it, even if we can just get a couple people on here, it's going to be a fantastic experience uh, for our bank account. Okay, uh, so we've actually qualified for some challenges as well. Look at this right here. We haven't gotten a, uh, a, our park or anything yet, but we also got our rewards for uh, building a coaster that reaches 40 miles an hour and uh, building a coaster with at least three excitement. So let's claim those rewards. Fantastic. Some nice challenges that really boost up our bank account and allow us to research some new things as well as get a boost our finances, uh, which will allow us to basically conduct a research of, uh, of something new. So uh, let's get... <coughs> Ooh, I don't know which one of these I want. Uh, all about airtime. Ooh, this sounds like it's going to be a good coaster idea. It just sounds like it's going to cost a fortune to develop. So let's, uh, let's get this uh, ride uh, through. Uh, let's get balloons too. Actually, balloons are going to be super helpful for that. We'll put about 700 bucks per month into that. I hope that this roller coaster uh, craze that we're running through right now is really going to help boost us. We could really raise the prices if we wanted to uh, up to something even greater than $10. So if we really push it up to 11 bucks, I don't think we're going to scare away all that many consumers from this, and it'll uh, superiorly increase the amount of money that we end up making for this in the end. So, yep. Okay, we got the balloons. Awesome. Uh, so let's actually open that one up. Uh, say we before uh, it goes out of style. So gift shops, custom. Oh, we well, can find it here. Looney balloons. Yeah, people do love their balloons in this game. That's one thing I will say. So uh, let's get that open. Hopefully. Oh crap! I didn't mean to open two. I moved it right on top. <laughs> let's actually move that then. Okay. If we have two open, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, hopefully we just uh, don't lose money on it. All right, so we'll get another one there. We can always blow it up if we don't like it. Ah, uh, look at all the, everyone getting their balloons now. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. We have kickflip. Oh, man. Is this really even a good one? I mean, to be honest, I mean, do we really get that many people on it? Nah, whatever. We'll build it anyway, basically because we have to, because there's nothing else we can do if we uh, decide not to. Uh, all right, let's build it about right here. Okay, it looks good. Uh, so yeah, uh, Dodge the Mall has been doing really good recently. Uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, uh, a lot of fantastic uh, new ideas from a lot of our managers. Uh, really, just some really great people uh, that exist around here. Uh, I, mean, I mean, Justin's doing a really good job uh, giving us suggestions and recommendations. I mean, really, one of the one of the things I do enjoy about this is the new content. Uh, it's it's really exciting to be able to make this kind of stuff and then you know, put it through editing and get reviews and suggestions about what we can what we can really make better, because I didn't really have that before, and, and this is one thing that I, I certainly won't overlook. Okay, how are we doing on, on path? 55%. 55%. Apparently people aren't too addicted to the nature these days. Uh, let's put down something that we don't normally do, uh, maybe like a animatronic. We could try to go with like a pirate or something. I don't know what theme we'd really include here. Uh, maybe if we get some sort of like miscellaneous stuff. We can do that, so I mean, probably not. Probably not a chocolate dipped finger. I don't think that goes too well with the theme. Oof, iron girder maybe make it look like the whole thing's falling apart. Maybe look like everything's uh, under construction. I don't know. Let's uh, let's try it. All right, sort of some stuff there. Uh, maybe even some at an angle too. Oh, 
yeah, we could sort of rest that on top. There we go. That looks nice. It sort of adds that little accentuated feeling to it, even though it doesn't make much sense. Uh, I could add that around here, too. There we go. Alright, those are supposed to uh, line up with each other, but they don't, so let's uh, do some of that fancy in-game editing we get. Awesome. Push it down so it matches up. Oop, that's a little bit too low. Yeah, there we go. It looks nice. Alright, what's our scenery? 56% still, so that, that didn't add a whole lot. So, uh, I guess let's add a little bit more. So a nice 69% on that. Uh, let's get the kickflip opened uh, so we can drop some nice money on that. People still digging the $11 coaster, even though it's like way overpriced. So I'm pretty I'm pretty good with that. Let's make sure our uh, staff haven't left either, because I, I do need to check on that every once in a while. Uh, yep, all right, so let's uh, let's actually train these people. Give them 100 bucks each. Uh, but that loan, let's actually yeah pay that off so we can save like a crap ton of money. Uh, so it's only going to be like two grand. So there we go. We've paid that off. That's nice. We've paid this $10,000 loan off, which was a great investment. I saved $450 by doing this, so we don't really save all that much. We could probably just up the payments and get it done faster. So actually, if we upgrade this and we make it better, uh, we can really up that ride prestige. And I think that's mostly going to come from stuff right around here because we have a lot of track space right there. Uh, so I think if we move this tree over... Uh, and build something there, like an actual building, uh, we'll be able to add a really nice, incredible uh, feel to that. And it can be custom, yeah. Well, it's sort of like a maybe... Uh, I don't know what we're going with. Sort of like a castle-y, bricky, sandstone-y feeling to it. I think the, the sandstone feeling is what we're going for, so... I don't even know what filter that would be under. Building set... Gingerbread Bakery? Rustic, maybe? Is that what we're looking for? Rustic? Is this rustic? Lime? Uh, thatch roof, uh, rough brick, yeah, no, I guess not, um, castle, maybe, is that what that's under, I have no idea, would sandstone really be under that, yeah, it would, that's kind of weird, I wasn't, I wasn't even going for castle, but I guess castle's what we ended up with, there we go, yeah, just like that, just like that, hopefully it'll get us to an average, an average, uh, roller coaster rating, come on, give me to an average, Get me to an average. And that gets us to a low. Fantastic. It's like no matter what I can do, I just I can't I can't make it any better. I can't make it any better. We're trying to uh, try to decrease the diminish in that as much as possible, which is good. Uh, wow, we have 20 grand now. Wow, that profit is just through the roof uh, since we've been developing that. Uh, which is fantastic, so I think we can just begin work on another coaster, like, right off the bat, because we are, uh, we're getting already near our goal, which is pretty crazy. I also want to watch out, too, because I don't want to run that too much, but we, st I remember we still have the circle, too, and I, I don't, I don't know what we should do about that. You know what I think we could do? Uh, so if we do this and we, uh, make this at, I think, six wide is what we were doing. Uh, so if we build off of here, and then we can sort of build down here to encapsulate this zone. All right, and we can sort of bring it in, bring it in, and build it on. So it's sort of like these are connected to each other, so you can really get there from any direction, and then we can build stuff all along here. And I'm not too worried about constructing that out, out pretty far. So there we go. So yeah, let's let's look at that research. Okay, the research is complete. New discovery, the Anibis Coaster. Yes, which I believe is a good luck custom. It's a hyper coaster. So let's kind of sneak it right behind here, I guess. That'd be good. Uh, let's also elevate the station, too. It's always nice to have that ability. And uh, we'll place that right about there. And bam! Go back to right regular track. Get ourselves that nice curve off that we're looking for on this coaster. And, uh, down and away we go. Alright. Can we go down? Nope, that's actually the, uh, the maximum slope on something like this. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, which is fine. That is fine. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Do we need to, do we want to do like an immediate overbank turn after this? Because I think that might work for us. Uh, yeah, because we certainly don't want to do like a helix right off the bat and probably kill everybody. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and how far is that gonna be? That's gonna be like up there. That's pretty crazy. Uh, but that's fine, isn't it? I hope. Let's, uh, let's do it less then, uh, just so it doesn't get too interesting, I guess. Yeah, there's not really too much else we could do than that. All right. Yeah, I think 50, the 50 meter overbank turn isn't going to be too extreme. I think that's going to be just fine. 
I'm sure we'll have quite a lot of velocity and we'll want to we'll keep up with that. Alright, here we go. This is a, uh, an official test of the Hyper Coaster. Uh, still pending a name, we still need one from the viewers. Make sure you put a comment down too. Uh, make sure you specify which coaster you're talking about, because I will get them very confused if you don't differentiate the difference between the two of them. Alright, don't want to don't wanna spend all the time on that. We'd be, uh, we'd be here all day being bored. Alright, and there we go, look at that. Uh, right, looking at the uh, the first overbank turn. You know, kind of a fan of the, uh, the huge diagonal there. It's kind of nice. Okay, take that. It's a little slow, but that's fine. We go back down very quick. That's a very jaunting turn right there. Okay, the overbank turn here is nice. That's how I like it. Okay, this turn also is pretty good. Look at that, nice airtime. Okay, wrap around once more. That one's also good. We sneak our way through here. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a sharp uh, cut off there. Okay, trim break. Okay, and maybe a little bit too much trim break right there. And then we just need to smooth that one out. And block section. I don't think that's too intense. I don't think that's too intense. Let's see how the, the actual test performs, though, how they think it is. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. Excitement 7.14, fear 5.43, nausea is down. Total airtime is 5.4 seconds. Track scene rating is very low, but that's fine. Because uh, we can fix all that stuff. As long as they thought that was good, uh, then it's really just finely, tu uh, finely tuning the coaster. Uh, really. So let's edit the track, and let's do a lot of our smoothing operations. So basically we go here, and we go all the way down to the bottom, and we just say, hey, smooth out. There, smooth this out, really. So... Uh, I don't even know uh, how it's going to manage that, but I'm going to request that it does. Maybe we don't include this huge overbank section, uh, so just this, so we, we smooth out. We just smooth how this is. There's really no other other thing we can smooth, really, on it. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a pretty smooth ride, at, ride as is. That usually can also increase the amount of airtime we get, too, because it, it, it just does it way nicer than I would normally be able to. Because you can see kind of how like the how it, it, it just changes abruptly there. Without that smooth, you're not able to do it very well. Okay, here too. All right, right there. Uh, if you smooth that out, with the banking, smooth that. Look at that beautiful airtime curve there. Okay, look at that. 1.76, 5.27.03. Let's see if we can make the station longer now. Actually, uh, so let's add a track. And we'll go backwards from station. Hopefully, that'll allow us to do that. Uh, so, oh, what have I done? Okay. Uh, so let's actually do a throughput here too as well, because I didn't do that last time. And can I can I station you off? Okay, let's delete. All right. No, no, no. I wanted the station there. I did want the station there. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I want the station. Yes. Okay. But now I want to actually build backwards. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. That is what I want. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. And then let's auto-complete. Nice. Nice. Good. So now we, uh, we've we doubled the length of the coaster, so I hope that doesn't change too much. Uh, I'll still test it out, uh, basically because we have to, and just to see if it changes anything significant about the way the ride operates. Okay, I think that the long chain lift is kind of necessary when we have something like this, because... Uh, if we didn't make this super long, then we're going to need, uh, basically, uh, points during the ride where we're going to have to add block sections that basically don't adjust the braking too much. Because then we can operate, like, three coasters at a time, it's like a safety thing. Okay, everything is feeling the same. Everything is feeling the same. We've made it this far, we've basically made it through everything. There we go. The coaster that will almost kill you. Alright. So that are that come back into the station, and there we go, yeah. That still gives us uh, about ratings that we were seeing the first time. We can look at some of the heat maps, too, sort of like an excitement one, and, uh, yeah, it looks, uh, pretty fantastic. So, yeah. This was, uh, this was sort of the design of the, uh, of this, uh, this hypercoaster that we have here, the Anibus 2. 
Uh, so make sure you drop a name for the first two coasters down into the comment section below. I would be super interested in hearing what you guys have to say about that. Uh, it would be super awesome to have a lot of community names in our park because it really allows the, uh, the people to get engaged in the videos. That's fantastic. It sound, I sound like some sort of marketing presentation that I would be giving at some sort of uh, consumer event. So thanks for watching. If you, if you want to see more, uh, make sure you click that red subscribe button. You know where it is, guys. Uh, otherwise, give us a thumb and tell us how we're doing in the comments down below as well as those awesome opportunities or names. My name is Steven Marcateros, and I will make sure to see you guys next time.